already? Yep. Good morning. We're out at uh, Squirrel Hill Park. We're down to Loop of the Gorge. It's September. This is uh, the third video on the lupas. I'm doing the progress on them. I'm going through them this morning and I'm trying to get some of these that are uh, turned up like this one to get them to hang freely so they don't get crooked. I got I got down here too late on them. A lot of them already got crooked, but there's a lot of nice straight ones yet. And we got a lot of them ready to harvest. Got to know when we've got a bad spot in it. You can see it, I'll probably be able to cut that out. But I got a couple little ones here. I'm gonna take that one. And I uh, got a couple over here we're gonna take. The rain last week I think helped. Got a lot of new starts up above. Got, got a lot of new fruits. Got, got a couple over there on the other side of the fence. Oh yeah. On the outside and the inside both. I'm gonna step out and go around. Yeah, I got a couple nice ones here. Three. And cutting them off helps. Helps the other others get some nutrients. And then the vines can grow up. Tomorrow's uh our local uh farmers market. And I'll probably uh take some with me. See if I can sell them. I'll clean them up today, like I did the ones the other day in the video. See, there's five now. This one. I gotta get back in there. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna let these two go for another day or two. And I think. Mm-hmm. Seven. Got about nine, I think, so far. Got a lot of new fruit coming on. As I said earlier, excuse me. As I said earlier in the earlier videos, it takes about a hundred days. This should be right at a hundred days right today we got five last week cleaned them up you got uh, another eight or nine today so this is gonna be a nice crop of them and I think they'll go it through mid-october and uh, we'll get quite a few more uh, I'm really happy with them so far we'll see some will look better than others. I, I do have a bad one there. I don't know what's causing that, but we'll take care of it. I'll figure it out. I can still see the basin bees are still working, doing their magic. What a great pollinating plant. The seeds uh, we recover will get used again. And uh, if anybody's interested today, please drop me a, an email in the link that I'll put in the description. And uh, please like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, you can say that too. I don't care. I'm happy to hear any comments or anything you have to, to add. Because it's just a, a plant I, I love playing with. And I learn about every time I come down. Thank you for watching.